And then I also got one for this AK-103, both Kalashnikovs. So they're not they're not bad but anyways let's shoot them now and then i'll put the triggers in and we'll come back and see how they see if there's a difference actually this gun is brand new i better i'm gonna pause it here i'll be right back i'm gonna put some oil on it before i shoot it for the first time okay let's try this again all right Pretty sweet. All right, well, I'll put those triggers on and then we'll be back later or tomorrow. Hey guys, I finally got, I got the trigger changed. I got the new safety on. Something I didn't notice before, it's got this little, looks like a, a selector. Not a selector, but it just helps you grab the safety. So that's pretty cool. But anyways. And the safety is actually doing its job, so that's good. So let's try it. Yeah, it feels really good. I'm glad I changed it. Awesome. Have a good one. Alright, so here we are with the uh, AK-103. I, um, I don't have a, a sight for it right now, but I did buy this master mount. It's pretty cool. Supposedly, it, it, I don't know, maybe I just don't have it tight enough, but supposedly it'll keep zero to remove, you know, because you got to take this off if you have a sight to, you know, clean it and uh, also... <laughs> Put the trigger in like we're about to so here we go we'll just remove the dust cover the spring the bolt piston all right so now we just gotta take apart our trigger all right i wiped up some of that oil so i guess we always start with the safety let's see uh, It's kind of tight. Oh, there we go. And we got the shepherd's hook. Let's see. Actually, I don't know if this is called a shepherd's hook or a retaining plate, but I know that's what re people refer to this type of thing as. I think this is just the plate, though. And then we will push out our spring. I'm sorry, not our spring. We got the trigger and the. Here, let me pause this for a second. There we go. I just released the trigger. And then. I need to pull these springs up. Oops. That should be good. <clears throat> I know lots, they recommend tying those together just so they don't jump out at you. I guess I can get a rubber band or something really quick. Hold on. Ow. All right. So I just got a rubber band. It's probably overkill for this little bitty spring, but. Hopefully that at least catch it. <laughs> okay. We already got the trigger. 
Pull our hammer pin. Pull the hammer. There we are. We gotta clean this up a little bit. All right, let me pause it again. All right, <clears throat> so now again we have the Elite 2.0 trigger. There's the actual shepherd's hook and the retaining screws. And then just like in the KP9, you gotta pull the trigger out with these, uh, <clears throat> let's see here. These are, there. And wiggle that trigger out, yep. Right here, I'm gonna pause it so it doesn't take forever. The shoe there, and then the safety. Sucker's kinda tight. There we go. All right. Now we can put our trigger in. Take a screwdriver and push those little pins back in. All right. Push it down in there, make sure that both sides set. And then we are good. Let's see, we can put our pins back in. All right, I'm gonna pause it again real quick. All I'm gonna do is wiggle it and get it right in there. I just there we go, I just had to flip it over and look down the hole a little bit. Same thing back here with the trigger itself. Nah, I'll probably do the same thing, just look down the hole. Here. All right, that one's still giving me trouble. Um, let's see, on that KP9, I had to back those little screws out. It looked like they're, here, let me find it. Okay. I was just looking for this, uh, Al, or Allen with that little ball on the end. I don't know if it's in my head or not, but it seems like when I couldn't get those pins to go in on the KP9, if I just loosened up these screws just all, all the way, because I, I don't even think they are extended, but it maybe a little bit. It sure did seem to help when I backed them out a little bit. Give me a little bit extra room. And I'm going to do that real quick. I'll be right back. <clears throat> All right, I loosened those screws. And then I was able to push this all the way in. Yeah, well, it looks like this one's out a little bit. <clears throat> okay. Now we just need put the shepherd's hook in and uh, actually you know what I bet you could use that this one that came come with the rifle hmm but I'll probably just use the the shepherd's hook that came with it anyways you just want to go under this first one and it, so it's in that notch and then now that I got it in there Take a screwdriver, take a screwdriver and hook it around the the uh, one that actually goes for the hammer. And then after that, we will just tighten up the three screws. And then two screws came in oh, extra, so you put those two screws in these front two just to lock it in. But anyways, you just tighten it down until until it doesn't move. And then um, let's say after you do that, <clears throat> your safety might be too hard. So you can go in here and back that one out a half turn at a time until it functions like it's supposed to. And that's it, man. And, um, right, and yeah, that's it. 
All right, so I put those two screws in and now we can test it. Let's do it. Everything clears there, that's good. All right. All right, so <clears throat> after putting this trigger in, I can completely function it with the safety on. So I am not gonna take this out and shoot it. Um, not, that I, not that I don't think it will function or anything, I just think it'd be irresponsible for me to shoot, to shoot it in technically a non-functioning state. So, or, you know, where I can't have a safety. So I'm uh, probably just gonna take the trigger out for safety also, and either put the other one back in, or, uh, or actually I'm gonna get a hold of CMC and find out if I need a new safety lever that's a little bit longer on the, the pad that actually blocks the trigger there. All right, so here we are. I finally got this, the parts I needed to make this work. Um, <clears throat> so this is a new safety. It is a Krebs Customs. So it's from KrebsCustom.com. And uh, it's a Krebs Full Auto Custom part number AKM6F. So here we go. Works just like it's supposed to. Just like it's supposed to. Hey guys, I finally got I got the trigger changed. I got the new safety on. Something I didn't notice before, it's got this little, looks like a, a selector. Not a selector, but it just helps you grab the safety. So that's pretty cool. But anyways. And the safety is actually doing its job, so that's good. So let's try it. Yeah, it feels really good. I'm glad I changed it. Awesome. Have a good one.